How are you doing? Sama, my love, how are you doing? Ah. Yes, everybody, how are you doing? I'm great. Okay. Hi, guys. I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Um, at 8 o'clock, we're going to have a special opportunity for you to understand how to make money. This is 2024. Poverty will gum you since 2015. By now, I suppose don't they lose for your body? So we're gonna have to deal with that in a moment. I remember the first time I talked about Mubad. I got six thousand views. Six thousand people were watching on Instagram alone. Another 6,000 on Facebook. Today, I don't even have 250 people watching a Mobad topic. If I were to talk about Bob Risky, right now, I'll get at least double these views. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen. Excuse me. By the way, big shout out to Tinubu's government. They just worked out a deal with Instagram, so I'm going to be earning money on Instagram. Um, we're going to have our badges on Instagram, so content creators on Instagram are going to be able to earn money. Those of you that say, ah, I, I don't have Facebook, so I cannot buy your stars. I don't have YouTube, so I cannot buy your super chat, super stickers. I don't have TikTok, so I cannot buy your money guns. Tinubu is bringing it to Facebook, to Instagram. I don't want to sound selfish, but I think Tinubu is working. Because it they favor me. If I start earning a revenue from Instagram, at least directly from Instagram, then that's favorable. So, if Tinubu continues like this and continues making us happy, he will have our vote in 2027. If Peter will be likes, he can go from mosque to shrine, anywhere he likes to go. Baba, I'm in the content creating industry. If he favors my industry, he shall have my vote. I don't talk I'm down now. If he does not favor my industry, he will not have my vote. If he favors my industry, he will have my vote. So don't be heartbroken in 2027 when I get up and say that Baba won't vote for. Hello. Hello. Someone said, but the same government wanted to tax content creators. I just got I just got off a conversation with Bongoli right now. I have no problem with a government that brings an opportunity. I want to tax you from that opportunity. 100% I'm supporting it. It's the one that they did not bring that they want to tax that that one we can now start conversing. But the, nobody was earning money on Instagram before. You have created an avenue for us to earn money and the avenue the money will be paid to us in Nigeria. Why do you not want to tax it? Please tax. I'm everything for a government that provides opportunities for its citizens and then wants the citizens to pay taxes. 100%. So 
Someone say, let's favor the majority and not your industry. When it was favoring pastors, I did not cry. It was their turn. Now it wants to favor content creators. I should now go and cry with nurses that are crying at me. Ah. Nurses, make una pray, make a favor on her too. I've been suffering on this Instagram for a long time. No revenue. Then the government now wants to create revenue. So, so big shout out to President Tinubu. We are waiting patiently for June to see the magic happen. Obedience, no vex. So, when I turn fit come twenty thirty two, I be which after twenty twenty seven, twenty thirty one. Abi, when I turn go come now, when I calm down. The dollar is dropping. I called my dollar guy today. I say I won't buy dollar. He say one thousand four hundred. I say ha. He say yes. So dollar is now one thousand four hundred. The naira is beginning to pick up. It's a tough job for the presidency because they don't have the moral support of the people. The people don't like them. I don't know why. Maybe I know why, but. Which one is 2027? I think like 2027, if, if, if the government works out this Facebook deal and they make content creators happy, you don't forget, say, content creators, now influencers. <laughs> this government gets sense to, if they win influencers, everybody else will just follow because influencers will influence you. The government is, they are smart. They are going after what to favor influencers. Trust me, they will give you taxes for the influencers, but they also make it, they, a smart government wants to work with its influencers. A smart government wants to work with the media. Media no be NTA again. No. Remember that year of Abacha time? Media na NTA, network news. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> They go control NTA. Now, if the government is listening to me, they want to control the media, they make the influencers happy. Once the influencers are happy, the government carry go. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. If the government also knows what it's doing, my advice is they should find a way of working with Bitcoin too. And cryptocurrency let the youth be happy cover all the loopholes so they will not fund terrorism and all those things make the youth happy oh once you can grab the youth by the blockers that's the end that's the end so tinubu don't show now saying be so dicky or no all those people say ah that if you voted tinubu i never voted tinubu i voted omoyele show there but the way Tinubu is going now, the signs I'm seeing, 2027. I feel no vote for anybody. I feel just sit down for my house. So because at the end of the day, I don't know whether my vote counts or it not count. I don't know. Nobody me go tell you, say your vote count, I mean not count. But the way Tinubu is going now, I can see the passion for leadership. Of course, the Nigerian factor, the people he's surrounded with to always do what they want to do. Uh, you understand? It's, it's, it's a tough one. Nigeria is one of the most difficult places to govern. You will not sleep. You can't even sleep. But you see, small by small, small by small at the end of the day. And make una no vex. I don't believe any man can single handedly change the course of Nigeria. But little things in little ways can go a long way. So I say people are still buying from hunger up until this minute. We pray for them. Maybe they've been paying tight. Let them go and collect tax refund from their pastor. They will pad the budget. 
they will fight with you see all these are nigerian factors nigerians always be nigerians but at the end of the day let them walk and show walking that's what's important oh i say peter will be contained nigeria okay 2031 he can try but as long as this government gets its act together let me tell you people are not running for we just want to see results me i want to see if this government gives me results 2027 i will vote for them if they don't give me results 2027 i kick them out if my vote counts so i'm not looking at tinubu because he's yoruba or because i like him no results let me see the results let me see the walking if i see the walking i'm satisfied with the walking instead of changing it and bring out another person uh -uh -uh. let him continue walking those of you that are shouting peter will be at this stage a lot of it is sentimental and peter will be himself don't they go mosque now very soon he will go shrine very soon he will go Hare krishna temple politics will always be politics those of you that got it we got it those of you that will not got it we not got it so let us celebrate small wins japanese people say you don't need to wait for a big win small small wins here and there small win here small win here i say small drops of water make a big ocean welcome so the topic now i'm not going to stay long i'm going to be out in 30 minutes if you're watching on tiktok double click the screen double click the screen pop my money guns someone said peter hey, Buka, say peter b is the president nigeria needs he is more competent than Tinubu. Ah, competent how no nigerian is competent when they see nigeria problem you see that nobody is competent he will just sway you emotionally sing for you here clap for you here dance for you here when i go go camp about politics now politics there's no nigerian politician that's competent let's just see they are working let them try rest rest peter b is a young man 2031 he has the opportunity to run unless if this government mess up 2027 come and carry it to you i will support you 2027 if this government not work but if they, they maintain waiting that they do small 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 uh hmm. oh hmm. agbari po tinuna sodiki ologbo anyway um back to today's matter i remember the first time i did a program on mobad um i was live preaching when mobad passed on i could not preach that who remembers that day who was with me live that day who was with me that day when i was preaching i was preaching that day and people came and disrupted the the um the uh, the sermon mary was there samaria was there tolu honiko was there you know it was so tough that day i couldn't preach they just said mobile what is this nonsense you are preaching mayor thank you for popping my money gun mayor oh one two three four bless you job ja bless you they were like what nonsense preaching Shukbo, how are you you were there what nonsense preaching is this one preaching get out get out get out oh well, they literally frustrated me drove me off how dare you be preaching when mobile just fire i fought them you know me i'll be one man soldier i fight everybody but after a while i realized see there are too many so i closed the live i did not know who mobad was and i went to go and google ah who be this mobad i called my children one or two of them knew him you know i started i heard i'd known i'd heard one of his songs but i didn't know it was him i started reading about mobad blah 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 two hours later i came live to talk about mobad and I had 6,000 people watching me on Instagram. About 7,000 people watching me on Facebook. About 4,000 people watching me live on YouTube. About 600 watching on TikTok. That was the first time I did a live on TikTok and I had 700 people watching live. Normally my TikTok is 100, 150, sometimes 200. I had 700 people watching me live. I'm like, what? The whole country was interested in Mobad's case. 
People were crying. I remember my friend uh, and former neighbor, Kenny Maxwell. It was his birthday that period. He was turning 50. So we took an Uber. Taste Buds and I took a lag ride. Taste Buds like, let's drive. Me, I know Lecky. We don't drive. Go one of our friend's house. Do party. We're coming back. That day, I was even lucky I took my Benz. Baba, we're locked out on the road for like three hours. Ubi Franklin was driving in front of me. I was driving behind Ubi. One guy just, they come. I just wind down to ask the guy, say, wait, Baba, say, the guy just give me one advice. He said, turn back. I come, they call Ubi back to back. Say, Ubi, 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 turn back. Ubi was just at the roundabout. He could have made the turn, but in no pick phone, they talk to whoever they talk to. He just drive, enter the ghost loop. Me, I just turn back. So one guy was now passing. I come, say, where go past? The guy said, no worry, follow me. I come, begin panic. Me and taste buds. We they drive latest GLE 53. We they pass inside bush back road. I say, hey, who sending me message today? You understand? Luckily, the car you can raise the suspension at the point I raised it because the road was really bad. We shall rigu, rigu, rigu. It took us like 45 minutes to pass the bush and the back. I shall eventually got out. Ah, thank God. So after that, when they tell me say that they do party inside Lekki, I know one there will not be good parking. If if I can't park my car well, I don't like driving. I'll just take. Now so we take lag ride that day. We sit down for back. As Mobad they sing, Mobad was on replay. The lag rider driver, they they sing. Ah, the guy go sing. After a while, go say ah, imole. It, 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 it be like say you, you know when person person belay they pin arm and the belay go turn then go hook you that hook go yeah now so the guy they you say ah imole me taste boards and the lag ride driver we sang talked everything we did till we got to where we're going that day was imole imole mo bad ah as we reach the party, thank God I know drive come everywhere. Lock. As we just reach the venue like this, I can't tell the driver. I say, may find somewhere. Tom, no use leg. Take waka the rest. As we the waka, they near the party. We just they hear Mobad. They play. We're listening to Mobad in the car, singing Mobad in the car, talking about Mobad in the car. We got to the party. It was Mobad that was playing, and they were talking about Mobad. Ah, Omaraye, koti kwe odun kan. Eti bagbe mo bad. Where is the energy you used to disrupt my service that day? What kind of nonsense preaching is this one preaching? You know, hear about mo bad, it begins scatter everywhere. Where is the energy? When I don't move on. When I don't move on. Now my dollar guy, they call me. Yeah, hello? Yeah. How much? That is to sell or to buy. That's high now. Against one four. Ah, me hold on. Uh, me hold on, me hold on. No worry, we go wait. The dollar still they come down. Where where? Ah, uh, this dollar they come down. Uh, when it come down, we go come by. All right. One day the dollar they come down. Come on. My heart was broken. Hey. You have all forgotten about Mobad. At the point we're talking about Mobad, do you know there are only 75 people watching me talking about Mobad on YouTube? Only 75. At least Facebook still get 300. Instagram still get 478. TikTok still get 150. Only 78 people are watching me. on youtube talking about mobile justice for mobile justice for emole justice for mobile justice for emole where are all of them now
People's hunger in the land has overtaken their love for Mubad. Ebuka Jesse, I'm waiting for you to come and pop my money gun. God bless you. If you're watching on TikTok, pop my money gun. I know Mubad's father's attitude also contributed to it. I said it from the beginning. People fought me. Hey, they quarreled me. They don't like me. No problem. When I don't they see I'm now. Papa don't get pee. Mm. That's how the the house of life. Hmm. Ah, things are difficult in the house of life. Ni ye in the house of life. Ah, the family were too busy fighting over property. Il y a il y a some. I'm going to say, you know, drink prime today. I drank seven up free. Ah. It's quite nice. Sugar free. I know it has all the other additives. And water. Il y a il y a some. The house of life. The house of nothing. Ha! Mobile Papa drop our bomb. Family can't begin to sue themselves. On Ungbe Ah! What's your DNA? What's your DNA? Autopsy toxicology reports. We wait, 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 wait. We waited in vain. Somebody is asking what the mobile father do. It's like your brain is spinning you. What did he not do? Is that you somebody mourns a child? So many families are divided over property. As I sit down here, my own papa family self, property nearly scatter us. The more property you have, the more problem you are living for your children. I hope you know. All of you, I have three houses. I'm buying three houses for my children. <laughs> the more property you have, the more problem you are living for your children. If your children are not handicapped, they have leg and hand, let them go and walk. Your parents are not entitled to your property. They have hand and leg. They should go and walk. They should go and walk. Someone said Mubai itself wasn't responsible. Are they ready for that conversation? Are they really ready for that conversation? May I always tell people, I not get any property where I won't leave for any picking. My papa shoelace, no day with me. Shoelace, no day with me. I will assist you with your education. That's why I tell my child, we assist you with your education. If you are going to go to uni, you will work and feed. I will pay your school fees if you are going abroad, but you will work. You will work and eat. I might pay your rent for one or two months. Then you will walk and pay the rest. 
As you are seeing me, they did not send me to abroad to do masters. If I want to send you to abroad to do masters, I'm doing you a privilege. My parents don't send me go abroad go do masters, and I'm not by. One of the things that is destroying this Nigeria is everybody wants to amass wealth, gather property here, property there, and at the end of the day, what will happen? Your children will sell it. Simply be said by, my, by 25 marks, my children are out of the house. Ah. My father tell me one day, say by 25, you should be out of me. I thought it was, you know, with all those things, my father threatened me one day, say by 25. Me, I was out of the house by 20. I go rent my own house for that saving battle. From when I small, enough he asked me, where are you going? Where are you coming? Because their thing, not in my hand. I know they collect money from them. I used to collect money from my mom, but I never collected money from my dad. Because I know that if my dad gives you one naira, he wants to control how you live. And that control was what I was not looking for. So by the time I was 20 in Nigeria, you know they hear say one by yap me one day, say that the fees, they recall you in Bo, in Bo Bodija. My parents don't live for Bodija. I read more about them they stay. Now me go rent boys' quarter for one street for Bodija called Paul Hendricks. My people, they stay Arimo, they are J. See the last place where they, they stay. Me, I stay Paul Hendricks. Baba, they give my address that year with pride. So, where do you live? Um, Paul Hendricks, Bodija, New Bodija. I stay in Paul Hendricks, New Bodija. Everybody go think, say, nah, me and my father, they stay there. On a lie, on a boy's quarter, they stay there. One small room. We don't even get kitchen. We they cook inside the room. Or make we cook outside for the backyard. The day rain, no fall. There were four BQs. Two of us were sharing one toilet. There were two toilets, two bathrooms, and four rooms. So two of us, they shared toilet. Two of us, they shared bathroom. Because I don't want anybody trouble. That was the way I escaped. Any, I come from a polygamous family. And if anybody asks me, how come you come from a polygamous family? Nobody do you to do. Because from very early age, now I don't let them realize, say, anything when my bag get, nothing concern me inside. Now, me be first born, no, but I act like last born. Any decision they want to take concerning my father's property, they take it. I'm, tell, I'm giving you a secret. You see, Baba, me and they give you practical things where they work. I need to give you an idea. This thing where they tell you, if you're watching my, if you're watching me on TikTok, pop my money gone. You, I, I'm teaching you for free. I'm closing now, Seth. If you want peace of mind, no follow family, drag anything for your life. No follow family, drag anything. Anything, even biscuits, no follow them, drag them. They say that they don't leave them. Leave them. Once you begin, they drag anything with family. Ah, nowhere where they know carry your name go. Even if did you know they the fact say their mind go they wish you bad, it go they mess things up for you. Your minds are powerful, though. You can imagine things and you can start conjuring them with your mind. Learn it from me. Run. If your father is rich, you are in trouble. Because that property will sweet your eye. It will chuck your eye. If your father is average or poor, very good. You have the opportunity to go and hustle your own. I come from a pol I'm a firstborn, my mother's only son, and I come from a polygamous home. Trust me, I know how to navigate those waters. Anything like property. Anything. I don't want to even hear my father's property. I don't want to hear it. Anything that belongs to my father belongs to my father. And whoever I wants to give it to. And he should please not give me. I'm not interested. There's a guy who, who used to donate a lot of money to the free nation. 
Anytime we are doing our feeding, you sometimes bring 500k, you bring big money. Right now, he's struggling, can barely eat. He go to drag property with him, Papa's uh, second wife, with his stepmother. <laughs> Mama swear, then he le -le. they will turn you to person of ground. Any lele, person of ground, ground. They will turn you into a person of ground, ground. They will turn you to person, ground, ground. Any lele. No go mongoose yourself, oh. Maloshe, gorare. Hustle your own. You have hand and leg. And that's what I tell my children. I have two hand and two leg. My children have two hand and two leg. They should enter the world and go and see what it is like. Olusheyi Ajijola said I will leave cash. Of course, when I say we leave the house, I'm leaving. I'm not carrying the house. I'm leaving it. I'm not carrying it to heaven. The car I'm driving, the watch I'm wearing, I cannot carry them to heaven. So I will leave something behind. But just know that whatever I leave behind, I have eaten ninety. What I left behind is my tithe. I will use it to collect massage, to fly business class. I will wear it on my body. I will eat it in my food. I will drive it in my vehicle. That's the main, the main. I will wear it as diamond. I will wear it as gold. In tobacco. Make a beat on herself on top of Now, now, no. But I'm going to tell you for free. Hallelujah. God's people. That the way property divides family, nothing else can divide a family like that. Mobad should be a case study. Harvard should do a study on Mobad. If you're watching on TikTok, share the live, double click the screen. Tap, tap, tap the screen if you're watching on TikTok. Tap my screen if you're watching on TikTok. If you're watching on TikTok, Tap, tap, tap. Pop my money guns. Follow my number one gifter. Let me announce who my number one gifter is. Lisa Benz. That's my number one gifter. Follow my number one gifter. Pop, pop, pop those money guns. Ah. The people wanted to fight for Mubad. But the family's lack of cohesiveness, lack of togetherness, destroyed what would have been a good family. Ah. Somebody say, my papa, is you best? Say, my papa no leave anything for me. I have to hustle my own. I'm proud of you, brother. Hustle your own, you will not buy. Hustle your own, you will not buy. I did hustle my own steady. Somebody say, leave money for baby freeze. Baby freeze, you have to learn how to walk. While he's alive, Whatever I eat, he eats. And that also goes for all the children. When you are when I'm alive, whatever I eat, you will eat it with me. I don't eat it alone. It's not that my own portion might be bigger than your own, but you will eat what I eat. You will eat from my table. Guarantee.
But we need to train our people. Somebody say, what if the property is mine? It's mine here. Yeah. Why are we quarreling? If the property is mine, why are we quarreling? Now me get them. So, like I said earlier on, I'm coming back live in about 30 minutes, hopefully. I just said I should talk about this. Um, I have three sons. Baby Freeze is not my only son. It's just the baby of the house, and he's always around me. So, as, as this house, they now, only me and I, they the whole house. My mom don't go walk. Baby Freeze! He was here scratching my back for me a few minutes ago. Then he had to go and eat. Then he abandoned me. How about Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22? Let me read it to you. It speaks about a good man. I've taught them this verse before. I want somebody to read Bible for me. Who can read? Samaria self is a very short verse. Anybody? Proverbs 13, 22. That's all I need somebody to read for me. Let me explain it to you because this is this is one of the most mistranslated Bible verses. So let me get somebody to translate it for me. If you are watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Uh -huh. Tolu Honiko. Bashere. I want to explain this to you, this scripture to you. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Tolu, you've never read Bible for me before. No. Do you join us on Sunday for our Sunday service? Yes. Every Sunday or just once, once? Mm, a lot of Sundays, not, not of just Sundays. once. once. I, I should join you to the Bible reading team then. I don't know why it never crossed my mind. Mayor! 0, 1, 2, 3, Proverbs. 4, keep popping those money okay. guns. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22. Remember, in the free nation, we use the New Living Translation. It's one of the most accurate Bibles, in my opinion. And we don't use Jesus. We use his real name, Yahushua. Jesus is for Igbo people. Let them carry their God and run. Just that, just that verse, right? Yes. Read it to okay. me, please. Good people, leave an inheritance to your grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth passes to the godly. Explain what you understand by it. Um, I think it means um, people should leave inheritance for their grandchildren. Something like basically a legacy that would, that even their grandchildren can see. Okay. It could, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, wealth. It's so, okay. So if we work with that like translation, money. it says good people. So a good person, if you read it with, in NIV, NIV says a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children, right? Right. A good person. Did Paul leave any inheritance for his children's children? No. He didn't even have children. Did Peter leave an inheritance for his children's children? No. They didn't talk about their children. Or them having children. Did or John the Baptist about? leave an inheritance for his children's children? Or Stephen that was stoned, did he leave an inheritance for his children's children? No. Does that mean they are bad people? No. How many so. inheritance did Christ leave for his own children? Christ didn't have children. So is Christ a bad person? Because according no. to this translation, good people leave an inheritance. Why don't we read it in context? Let me show you what the context really means. 
It says, good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren, but the sinner's wealth is passed on to the godly. Read it full cycle now and you understand what it's saying. There are two people, a good person and a sinner. Where does the good person's wealth go? To their grandchildren. Where does the sinner's wealth go? Go to the godly. To the godly. To the godly. So they are talking about a good person that has wealth and a sinner that has wealth. Right? Right. Okay. What the Bible is saying in this verb, in this verse, is the wealth of a good person will go to their children's children, while the wealth of a sinner will be transferred to the godly. Mm -hmm. There are many examples of people in the Bible who did not have wealth. It does not mean they are bad people. This Bible verse is talking about the good people who are wealthy and the sinners who are wealthy. It does not mean that you must leave an inheritance to your children. What the Bible is trying to explain is a good person's wealth would go to their own children, while a bad person's wealth will go to a good person. Mm. Do you now understand the proper construct of this? Because if you read the first line, it's so dangerous. You, you that you know get well to give your great-grandchildren, you can't feel, say, you be bad person. But Paul did not leave any wealth for his grandchildren. And he wrote half of the New Testament. Or half of the New Testament was claimed to be written by him. Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, did not have children or grandchildren. Not that we know of, at least. So are we going to say he's not a good person because he did not leave an inheritance? The Bible is not making the person who leaves an inheritance good. Listen. A good person is not qualified by inheritance. It is inheritance that is qualified by a good person. What is that? French eclair. French eclair. Oh, thank you very much. This one is which one? Eclair too. Okay. Guys, it's chocolate. You know, I don't eat too much sugar, but I can take a bite of it. Yeah, I gave one. This one has almonds. This one has almonds. Yeah. Mmm. 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 So you can start a cafe and make money. Stop poverty in your generation. A good person leaves an inheritance. <laughs> that is right. that it is. Mm -hmm. But they're saying what of the people that have that are wealthy, that if you're wealthy, you should also you should leave. That's what I'm reading in the comments. That you are but if you have money, that means you should leave. That give me tissue. <laughs> Baby please. Give me tissue. Behind you. I want to finish eating this thing so I can attend to you. Mm -hmm. Sholu, go ahead. What did they say? They said, if you, what that, but you are rich. Mm -hmm. but someone said, but you are rich. So if you are rich, that means that you should leave. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Christ told the rich man, let me read a Bible verse to you. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Go to Matthew chapter 19. Close my door, mosquitoes. Read from verse 16. Remember not to say Jesus is Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, read from verse 16. 19 verse 16. Okay. Uh, okay. 
So, um, did it start with a story? Okay. Okay. When Yehushua had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went down to the region of Judea, east of the Jordan River. Large crowds followed him there, and he healed their sick. Some Pharisees came and tried to to trap him with this question. Sorry, sorry. Okay, no, 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 no. Matthew nineteen verse sixteen. Verse okay, verse sixteen. Let me go to sixteen. All right, rich man. Someone came to Yehushua with the question, "Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life?" Why ask me about what is good? Uh, Yehushua replied, "There is only one. There is only one who is good." But to answer your question, if you want to receive eternal life, keep the commandments. Which ones? The man asked. And Yahushua replied, you must not murder. Sorry. You must not buy. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not testify falsely. Honor your father and mother. Love your neighbor as yourself. I've obeyed all these commandments, the young man replied. What else must I do? Yehusha told him, if you, must, if you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you would have, you would have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. Stop. You want me to continue? No, no need. So did Christ say you should leave his money for his children or you should give it to the poor? No, give it to the poor. So, where are you getting the qualification that uh, you must give your inheritance to your children? Christ actually said it is more honorable to give your inheritance to the poor than to give it to your own children. You just read it. So, who are the good people they're talking about that should leave inheritance to their children? Uh, they're not saying. What they were saying is the inheritance of a good person will go to his children, while the inheritance of a sinner will go to the church. okay it's, it's not an instruction it's, uh, it's, it's not just an instruction a, yeah. okay it is you have two men one worked hard and built his fortune working hard and the other one stole government money road he was supposed to tie he did not tie borehole he was supposed to dig he did not dig you understand what i'm saying uh -huh. So at the end of the day, what now happened? The the rich man, uh, the rich good man's wealth went to his grandchildren, and the you know sinner's uh, wealth went to the godly. And okay. when the rich man asked Christ, "What must I do?" You should he sell said, all your property. He said. Obey the law. Then the guy said, ah, but he wants to be perfect. Then Christ said, okay, to be perfect, take everything you have and give to the poor and come and follow me. I said, sell, give. <laughs> I said, sell. <laughs> Default thinking. <laughs> it's give to it sell, to the give. Poor. give. Everything you have, your car, your houses, your clothes, your watches, everything, give to the poor. So there is nowhere mm. in Christianity where living an inheritance made you a good person. Mm. Proverbs were written for Jews, not for Christians. Always remember that also. Mm. So when you quote this, health education, subliteracy, is worse than illiteracy. Mm. True. Subliteracy is worse than illiteracy. Illiteracy you don't know. Subliteracy, you have tainted knowledge. Mm. So if Christ himself said, carry all you have and give to the poor, why are you qualifying a good person? Because what was the question the guy asked? Him? Go to re read verse 16 again. What was the question the guy asked Christ? He said, um, read it. What, um, teacher, 
what good deed must I do to have eternal life? He asked, what is the good thing that I must do to have eternal life and to be perfect? The good thing you must do is give it all away. Mm. Do you now get it? Mm. No. I give you two minutes to ask me any question again. So I know I've addressed this once and for all. I think they've answered. Uh, let me see. Um, give your inheritance to the poor. Someone said, Daddy, yeah, please. Said, yes, they wait for you to give your inheritance to the poor. No mm. worry. I go chop on myself. I know they give them to anybody, including my children. I don't tell you. Let me go chop them. So no need for you to wait. If you want to be perfect is the instruction. But let me tell you, do not make somebody who... This is why Nigerians hustle and steal because they think that to be good, you have to leave an inheritance to your children's children. No, it's not necessary. Paul did not leave an inheritance. Somebody said, <laughs> with a way to give, you, to give your inheritance to the poor. <laughs> don't mind them. Grow sense, grow sense. They will not agree. This is what your parents were misled. That's why they ran around and did all sorts of corrupt things. How much of the inheritance did they still leave for you? Yeah. The ones that they left someone, for you, what did you do with it? Someone is asking, I think I can answer this question, but is, is it a sin for one to inherit properties from their parents? Of no, it didn't not. It it's not a sin. It's not a sin. It just brings a lot of trouble, especially in Nigeria, mm. where you are greedy, your parents are greedy, and your relatives are all greedy. Hmm. Hmm. True. Okay. I think we've answered all their questions. Uh -huh. uh, Are you comfortable with what? Did you learn something today? Yes. Yes. That so the emphasis everybody. is not you are not qualified by leaving an inheritance to your children's children as good. Hmm. Your inheritance will only get to your children's children if you are good. Mm. If you are bad, that money, that house will not get to your children's children. It will go to the poor. The government will collect it and auction it and the good people will be able to buy it. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's another way of bringing it down to today's world. Mm. They will repo it. That's why they see they go to a drug dealer's house and they repo all his cars and they auction them. Mm. And legit citizens can come and buy. True. Someone said, it's good to at least leave something for your children. I also think it makes your children lazy and entitled. There's diligence in labor. Go and work. Of course, my children are not going to go empty. At least something must touch their hand. Mm. But it will not be meat. It will just be, you know, something they can chew on. Mm. You understand? <laughs> and not the one that they are waiting for you to buy so no. that <laughs> they can take it over. <laughs> no. Luckily, me and my children don't even share shoe size. You know what I do to my <laughs> children regularly? I take them to the Gucci shop. They sit down with me. They help me pick my Gucci shoes. When we are mm. done, we go to Primark to pick their own. <laughs> on our way to Primark, we stop at H&M. Clarks. <laughs> Hey, Zara, that's their own world. Mm -hmm. But you see that Gucci, that Nothing LV? Nothing wrong with Primark. <laughs> uh, Simply Vic was there with me the last time I went to LV. Mm -hmm. Victor, were you not there? Baby Free sat there, I was looking. Did I buy anything for Baby Free inside LV? When I finished shopping at LV, I went to Gucci. Mm. I bought a pair of shoes. Simply Vic was there now. When we were done, where did we go and buy Baby Free's things? Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Which walk you know, so, for your life? You want at least I can life. leave sense for my children. <laughs> eh? Leave so sense for your at children. Least I can leave sense Let for me my tell children. you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Fela did not leave a single house for his children. Mm. But you know what he left? He left sense. He left a name. He left sense. He left a brand. His son, mm. Femi, ate out of the Fela legacy. Made. Mm. Fela's grandson is eating out of the legacy. Sheo is eating out of the legacy. Mm. I would rather True. leave a legacy for my children 
a name that can open doors for them than a house. So that's also another into. form of inheritance and not money, right? That's, that's also no, an inheritance. No, legacy is not legacy is separate from an inheritance. Hmm, okay. It's totally separate. Legacy is your name. People listen to Shell's music because they know he's Fela's son. They know he carries mm. the DNA of Fela. Mm. And he has Fela's behavior. As Fela stubborn, I saw he's stubborn. Mm. As Fela go prison, I saw he go prison. People can connect with him through his father. So your legacy cannot be a form of inheritance? Well, you can argue it. And technically, you may win. But like I'm saying, y'all got to be careful. Let me go. I'm coming back in a few minutes, um, hopefully. If not, the conversation goes on later tonight at midnight. I absolutely love you all. Uh, someone said, Clax is still better. They sell clothes at Ikeja on that bridge. <laughs> Tolu, thank you for reading Bible for me today. Guys, I hope you have fun. See you all later. I might be back in five or ten minutes. Take care and God bless. Mm -hmm. Bye.